Hello everyone, my name is Brad, and in today's DLS Quick Tips video, we will be covering call pickup groups. The call pickup feature is simple in design, but useful. If you need to answer a call that is ringing an extension you either do not have physical access to, or will not be able to reach in time before the call goes to voicemail. Here's a scenario. Say you're just getting started for the day. You noticed on your way in that your colleague, bright and early, hasn't quite lived up to his name and is running a little late. You know he was expecting an important call, and sure enough, his phone starts to ring. Being the seasoned professional that you are, you decide it would be better to answer the call instead of letting it go to voicemail. Rather than an impromptu 100 meter dash through the office, you calmly pick up your handset, dial the feature code for call pickup, and steal the call. If you've decided by now that call pickup groups are right for you, then follow me over to the user preferences page where we can manage which users are allowed to answer others' calls. To be able to use this feature, each extension must be designated a call pickup group number. That way, when they dial the feature code for call pickup, it allows them to pick up calls that are ringing to other extensions of the same pickup group. To select group numbers for your desired extensions, click the Edit button to the right, scroll down to the Call Options section, and expand the drop-down menu on the Call Pickup Group field. After you've selected your desired Call Pickup Group number, scroll back to the top and click Save. That's it! Once all extensions have been added to the Call Pickup Group, users will only need to enter in the feature code for Call Pickup, which, by the way, is found on your server's System Features page. 